Hi ladies and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wigtails. I know it's been a while. I'm back. Um, in today's video, I am going to be showing you a wig she wig that I uh, got. Um, I did go with a shorter style. I have had this wig for about two months, so I've washed it, I've styled it, I've worn it. Let me go ahead and tell you what wig this is. This is my silver platinum eye wig that has been customized and thinned out. Um, eye wig does measure theirs from the nape, so it's actually 24 inches like to the very tip, measured from the crown. Um, so if you're interested in seeing this cute little wig she wig, um, let's get into it. All right, so when you go on their website to purchase, each are made to order. So there is a disclaimer that will say, you know, I think it think they say it takes 35 to 40 days. And it took me about 42 days to get mine. It's wig 009. I ordered the 14-inch chic blonde ombre shoulder length invisible lace wig. I will pop up a picture. This is it. And I wanted the one just like in the picture. It does have a little bit of smell when you get it. Just like hair color smell though. So nothing too awful. And I'm really sensitive to those types of smells. And I didn't have to wash it. But I did wash it just because I like to wash all my wigs as soon as I get them. It will come with the lace uncut. And I'll pop up a picture of that. So you are going to have to cut your lace. Now I chose lightly bleached knots. They are tiny um, I prefer um, lightly bleached if it's not going to be a silk top because I don't want a lot of shedding. Now, as soon as I got this one, I did spray it with Knot Sealer. I do recommend using Knot Sealer. And I sprayed this one right away. I have the Walker brand. And if you don't know what that is or want to know how to use it, I do have a video. I'll try to link it in the description just in case. It is lace ear to ear and you do have that little bit of lace in front of the ear. It has the ear tabs. They do have the little bendies in them. You have plenty of parting space. I think it's three by five um, lace front. It does come with combs. I haven't taken mine out yet. Um, and it does have the um, adjustable strap. I am gonna add some velvet to the back of mine and probably to my um, ear tabs just because I'm really sensitive and I don't like to wear wig grips. But for the sake of the video, I will wear a wig grip. In the box, you'll get the box. Um, you will get a pretty silk bag to store your wig in, um, a satin scrunchie, and a lace top wig grip. So it's got the lace area right here that you'll put wherever your part line is. Now I did get the um, 14 inch, but it does measure almost 16 inches if I'm measuring from here up. So they give you a little extra length versus the opposite and I have several friends who have gotten them and it's the same thing theirs was a little bit longer versus being a little bit shorter and so far everybody that I'm close to who got one the color was correct I do have one friend that ordered one and the color was just um, totally wrong and wig she did uh, make it right but she did get another one and it's identical to mine but longer um, so the perfect ashy color all right so um now I'm gonna put it on so here she is on. Again, this one is wig 009. I went with the 120% density. It's definitely not too thick, but not too thin at all. You know, it's pretty average on density in my opinion. They do also offer 150% density, which would be a lot of hair, and I wouldn't recommend it for a short one, just unless you like a lot of hair. I went with the medium average cap. For size reference, I am 21.5 circumference, 12.5 front to nape, but I do like to pull my wigs down a little bit further because I do have a lot of real estate here. And ear to ear, I'm about 12 inches and it fits me perfectly. Went with the lightly bleached knots, HD lace, which I think that's all they offer anyway, which I mean, it matches. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I do to conceal my knots, but let's show you the knots first. So they're very tiny. I'm gonna zoom in on this. I mean, they're tiny. It would be fine just like this, but my hair is darker and ashy underneath. So you can see that under there and I'll show you what I mean. That's the color of my natural hair. Now what I do, um, and I usually do this like right when I'm gonna walk out the door if I wear it, you just take this chalk pen and I'm gonna link it down below. You just rub it on the knots and it's just chalk, it doesn't hurt it. And it will conceal them knots. You can use this on synthetic wigs also. I'm actually gonna do a video on it and um, you can get them on Amazon. They're cheapest on Amazon. I have seen um, some wig sellers selling them, but they like upcharge them a lot. And then you can run this around the hairline if you want, if you're gonna wear it off your face, but it makes a huge difference. And then I don't have to cover up 
my hair or wear anything underneath to get that pretty, you know, bright scalp line. The only con, in my opinion, to this wig is um, some of the color work, which again, I have tried so many colors through the years and none of their balayage ombres or none of their color work was perfect, um, which doesn't bother me any. Um, and I normally wear it curled. I did um, smooth it out for the sake of this video so you could see the color and you know how beautiful and ashy it is. Because sometimes ash can be a little hit or miss. You know, it could be really gray or just not ash at all or purple or blue. Um, so some of the color work you can see right there that just isn't perfect, but you cannot notice it. Let me shave that. And this is how thick it is. And you can wear it up, um, but I pulled it up like this, like half up, half down. And then I always pull some hair out around my face and it looked really cute. Um, I've curled it. It did hold the curl pretty well. Um, see, I normally like to wear it up like this. I don't have a clipper to show you. Oh, yeah, I do. So you can wear it up. Um, and I just usually, I don't have it right here. I take a spoolie, you know, the eyebrow spoolie and pull the little short hairs out because it does come with the pre-cut short hairs. I love that. I haven't done anything but cut the lace. Normally I have to take my razor comb and my scissors and go through and cut some hairs or pluck the hairline. I mean, it was ready to wear. You see it has the short hairs. It even has them at the back. Um, I will now pop in some pictures so you can see different ways I styled it. But you can tuck it. And if you're somebody with no hair, you could just cut some hairs right there. That way you could be able to tuck it. But it's not too thick to tuck. You can see it's not making my ears stick out. The hair feels good. It's not frizzy at all. I will insert a picture of how it air dries. It kind of has a little nice beach wave. As you can see, I've been wearing it a while. I haven't washed it. This is just how she looks. I did add a little bit of main candy cuticle mender oil to it. And the hair don't tangle. It doesn't tangle at the nape or anything. But this is the wig she wig. I am impressed. I do want to get a longer style. But I think it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below or my contact information is always in the description box. And if you've never heard of Wigshe, they do have an Instagram and a Facebook. And a lot of ladies have reviewed them on both of those flat platforms. So you can just um, search it and it'll come up or do hashtag Wigshe. I'm sure a lot of them will come up. I do know they do offer custom colors and they do have toppers also, but their website is just wigshe.com. Um, I will leave everything in the description box just in case. Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.